hey guys, uh, we will deploy serverless to local stack today. Um, so a couple of words about each one of those pieces. So local stack, um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a great piece of software that allows you to run um, your AWS services locally on your local machine so you can develop against your local machine as opposed to developing against the uh, real AWS account. So it's serverless framework um, automates a lot of the uh, serverless plumbing, uh, especially around AWS Lambda. Um, so this way you can use infrastructure as code where you've written it once and then you can deploy it to uh, pretty much any place um, to local and into a real AWS account. So in this video, we will uh, take our project that um, we can deploy into local stack and we deploy our serverless project into local stack using Commandeer. So uh, first thing first, uh, we are going to local stack uh, menu over here, so let's start it. Um, so right now, local stack is off. There's 24 local stack services, but um, zero on, so we will click on start. So what's happening here is that um, don't worry if you don't have local stack installed, it will pull um, you know the right version of local stack and it will start you know st start all services for it. Um, so once it's started, it also will do a scan. So to make sure that everything is started and you know you're all ready to go. Um, so in our case, uh, we're pretty much all started. All services are now on, and we have 24 total services, and all 24 are currently on. So we are we are you know we are ready to deploy. So next step is uh, serverless itself. So let's go to uh, serverless runner. So serverless runner um, is the you know, UI runner for serverless framework. So first thing first here, once you arrive, um, you want to choose your serverless YAML file. So serverless YAML file is your main file where all the plumbing comes together. We'll dive deep into it in a minute. So first thing first, once you get to your serverless runner, you want to uh, choose your serverless file. So um, this project, um, so we, we have this project on GitHub. Um, so if you download our open source repo, I'll put the link to it in the video description. Then in the folder called sample apps, there's a, a folder called serverless local stack. So this is the project that we will deploy um, to local stack. So let's choose our serverless YAML here. Um, and once we've chosen it, we now have basically everything uh, set up for it. So um, let's walk through the code. Um, so um, there's, there are a couple of things to notice here. So here on the left, you can actually expand um, your serverless project to you know, see each file individually. So um, let's start with package.json. So um, package.json has all the packages for our serverless project and a couple of them that are worth noticing would be um, serverless plugin TypeScript. So it allows you to basically start writing your handlers in TypeScript. And uh, another one that's, you know, most important one for this video is serverless local stack. So serverless local stack plugin for serverless um, allows you to, um, to, to run uh, serverless against local stack. So you can deploy it into your local machine instead of AWS account. So um, now next stop is um, serverless YAML, YAML itself. So here it's pretty straightforward. We define our service. We say that we have AWS as a provider. Um, so we specify two of our plugins. So serverless plugin TypeScript, serverless local stack plugin over here. Um, we define our function. So our function would be tank handler. And um, here we are using the syntax that uh, basically includes the handler from a file uh, located in the handlers folder um, and the name of the file is handler YAML, uh, separated by the colon, we have um, a tank handler. So tank handler is the key in that file that we are including uh, that will uh, tell serverless that this is the handler that you want to deploy. So um, another thing to note here, and uh, this one actually is you know, crucial to deploy to local stack, is that uh, there's this custom section here. In the custom section, there's a local stack um, a key Underneath, we have stages. So here you specify the stages for which local stack 
uh, needs to be activated when you deploy. So because you know you deploy the same setup to local and you deploy the same setup to a real AWS account. So um, here we list all the stages for which you should just deploy to local. In our case, the stage um, that we will use to deploy to local, we'll name it local. And another thing worth noting here is that um, in serverless settings, we want to make sure that we're deploying to stage name local. So both of those match, serverless local stack gets triggered, and now you know your deployment goes to local. So here in serverless settings, uh, we'll set your our stage to local, uh, you know, before we run it. So um, we also have our local account chosen here. So that's another thing is, uh, you know, we'll be deploying locally. So that's, that's about it with serverless YAML. So um, let's go into handlers and this tanks handler that we've been including. So this is tanks handler code, but let's start with the YAML. So uh, tank handler YAML has um, the name of the handler. So this uh, name of the handler uh, has dot process at the, at the end. So that process is, um, so process is the name of the handler to call in the file. And um, we separate it by a dot here. So we say, hey, there's the timeout over here and some tags. And um, let's take a look at the handler itself. That's our handler. So um, here's our function name process. That's the one that gets exported at the bottom. Um, so, you know, the body is pretty straightforward. We receive event and context. Um, so in the beginning we say, okay, hey, we are in the function. Um, and now what we do is, um, you know, the, the, usually you put more complicated logic over here to do some, you know, actually useful um, work. But in our case, we literally just construct um, an object called shot with the message boom and we put our original event in there and we call context succeed with that. So um, basically in Lambda, you want to make sure that you did, that you called um, uh, success or fail uh, because this way, you know, the Lambda knows that um, this invocation has been successful. So in, in, in the handler, you know, a good best practice here is that um, you want to wrap all the handler code and try catch and catch all the errors and call, um, you know, the failure uh, of a Lambda manually, which we'll do on line 18. So that's our handler. Um, so let's now run this thing. So again, local account is chosen. Let's hit run. And um, what's happening here is again, don't worry if you don't have serverless installed, um, you know, you, Commandeer will automatically download um, uh, serverless and, you know, it will run it. So once, um, while it's running a couple of things here, so you can also open uh, your serverless project in a folder. So, um, you know, it op opens it up in Finder or if you're on Mac, on, uh, if you're on Linux or Windows, it will open up in uh, those browser browsers. browsers. Um, so now uh, you can share, you can share your code as well. You can share it over email, Slack, SMS. Um, so, you know, if you want to sh send it to somebody, um, another thing uh, which is cool here is that it is fully integrated with your terminal. So if you want to run your um, serverless deployment in your terminal, no problem. You go here, you copy command, put it in your terminal, and now you have it running in your terminal. Um, and uh, this button over here, it clears out all your uh, you know, build folders. Sometimes build gets messed up. So you know, this button will clear it all up. So, um, so we have a success here. So we deployed, deployed, you know, everything went fine. Um, so as you see, the log says that we've been using uh, serverless local stack. So all of our deployment went to local stack. And it means that um, our tanks handler now needs to be in our, um, you know, local environment deployed. So let's go now to uh, Lambda right here. So if you go to Lambda, here we go. This is our Lambda right here, Commander Tanks local handler. Um, so it, you know, it is exactly what it is. It uses uh, Node.js runtime. This is our handler, Tanks handler process. Um, so let's go ahead and invoke it. Let's, let's see that it actually, you know, 
that that's what we uh, what we coded up. So we hit run, and um, what's happening here in the invoke lambda um, uh, tool is that you know you can use this tool to invoke any you know number of lambdas you pass um, your uh, payload into it, and then you hit run, and then basically at the end you will see logs uh, and you see the result. And the result is here we go. So this is our message that we have been um, calling success um, with. Uh, that has message boom, it has the event that we initially passed in, um, and at the end of the day, it all came back with success. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, the great success has happened, and now our Lambda is all uh, is all working locally. So that's pretty much it. So this is how you deploy uh, serverless to local stack on your machine um, to speed up your development process to test things locally. Um, and then the beauty of this is that you can use the same setup to deploy to the cloud as well uh, once you have it working locally. So that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, so give Commandeer a shot and um, I'll see you in the next video.